right guys, the title is not clickbait at all. The best Aquascape will literally win this bad boy. The amazing 207 canister from the 07 canister series from Fluval. A high quality, high performance filter. Not only that, you will also, this is getting ridiculous, you will also win the inline clarifier. The UVC inline clarifier that is a new breakthrough technology from Fluval in the way that is more effective than other inline clarifiers and lasts much much longer. These two plus together is something like $400 of value. That's right folks, I'm Mr. Beasting this channel up. Has his name been used as a verb like that before? Anyways, it works. You guys know exactly what I mean. Who knew that being a Fish for Thought subscriber, just pressing the free subscribe button and watching videos and being entertained for free can actually go even further, put you in a spot where you have a chance to win these two amazing pieces of equipment for free for your hobby. For those of you who don't know, the canister filter is the holy grail when it comes to filters and just tank maintenance. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can enter and then I'm going to unbox this, unbox the inline clarifier and set it up on the tank behind me, the ADA 60P Aqua Garden. And then I'll make a separate video later on to actually see how the progress has been and having put this to use. Okay, so some of you will only need this short instruction. Basically go to Christopher Thought on Instagram and follow the instructions there. They're laid out very clear, the post is easy to find and you're entered. Now I already hear the questions, hey, what if someone just goes to like an ADA website and takes the best looking tank there? They're gonna have a really good shot of winning, right? Because it looks amazing. In order to actually win, so when I pick your tank as the winner, I am going to ask for a few more specific photos, very specific ones that you wouldn't be able to take if you were not you know, in the same room as the tank anymore or ever have been if you just took the video from the internet. So in order to actually win, even after I've picked you, you have to give a few more proofs. So really there is no way of cheating. I'm gonna make sure I know without a doubt that that tank is yours. Now that we got all those details out of the way, let's finally unbox this and put it to good use. Now, having worked at many pet stores and local fish stores, it always hurt my heart whenever a customer walks out with a fluval canister filter in their arms because I wish I could walk out with one myself one day. But finally, Eric from Fluval made my wish come true. The build quality and performance of these products are no joke. And we haven't even touched on what impresses me the most, so stay tuned till the end to find out. People tend to make a big fuss about how tricky setting up a canister filter can be. This is one of the annoying myths that I actively try to debunk. So let's start. Let's open up the filter and give everything a quick rinse. I like to replace the activated carbon chemical filtration with more biomedia ceramic. And at this point, if you have existing fish tanks, it's time to use some biomedia from their filters to quickly load up on beneficial bacteria. I'll also be using some additional filter floss because I have some lying around. It's so satisfying knowing that my aquarium has so much extra filtration space and is moving so much water. It's crazy to think that some people actually keep their betta fish in smaller containers than this canister filter itself. Before putting the lid back on, make sure to wrap this ring seal around the motor like so, ensuring no leaks. Put the inflow and outflow cap on, make sure the red lever is pressed down. This secures everything in place. The gray lever opens the inflow and outflow cap so that water can pass through. This is a super useful feature when doing filter maintenance. Now we can attach the high quality tubing that Fluval provides for free. So you guys might know that I run two filters, two hob filters right now. That's the aqua clear and this is a quiet flow. I'm going to be getting rid of this quiet flow and putting the input and output of the canister filter here. I will eventually also get rid of this. but. There's a lot of beneficial bacteria in there, so I can't afford to get rid of both at the same time, or at least it's not a good idea to do that. I'm gonna keep this until all the colonies in this is ready to take on all the bio load in my tank, which is actually not that much, but it's always better to play it safer than to be sorry later. We'll set the position of the inflow and outflow clamps so that they're stable and not moving. Connect the UVC inline clarifier on the outflow tubing. And the UVC inline clarifier also comes with its own little 
timer here that's super, super easy to set. I really like this. You know how I am with timers. There are so many options here that are sure to fit any need. You can go 24 hours, you can go 12, 10, 8, 6, 4. I'm gonna set it for perhaps 8 or 10 to start to see if I can see some difference at that interval. And then I'm gonna experiment with putting it on for 24 hours versus four hours to see if there's a massive difference and just really experiment my way through this. This is super fun and super easy to set up and it's gonna last years to come. Now people tend to get very confused and wary of these canister filters whenever you use the term priming. You gotta prime the filter. Well just like with any hang on the back filter, you do have to prime the filter but it's really probably the easiest step out of all these super easy steps. Luvo took that easy step and made it even more simple and less frustrating for you guys. So of course we gotta make sure our safety hatches are down and this one is to let these two valves open, make sure that's down, um, all the security is in place. We got that ring seal around the motor, we got these two buttons tightly clamped, and all we do now is pump. And this is literally how you prime the filter. And I'm doing this one-handed, I'm filming with the other hand. You should hear the water pouring into the filter just a few times and we're ready to go. An important thing to note here is that you do want the outflow above the water at this stage. And you gotta pump it to a degree where you hear continuous water movement because this is the process where your fish tank water is coming straight into the canister. And we do see that the water mark is continuing to drop. I'm gonna have to refill that up real quick here. Now the moment of truth, yes, this is a pretty messy board here because there's so many fish tanks here. Let's start it up. I've been letting it run for a few hours now and I've done a little bit of maintenance on my tank, uh, getting rid of some algae and giving it a bit of a haircut here. To me, perhaps one of the most impressive things about this filter is that it's virtually soundless. There is no noise. And this is very important because I'm sleeping right beside here. I'm also a very, very light sleeper. Like any sort of noise in the night will keep me awake. I can hear the computer fan, but I can't hear this filter. This is more quiet than the quiet flow. That's something I did not expect. That is amazing. Well guys, that's pretty much it for the unboxing and the setup. As you can see, if I just take a picture of my fish tank, everything's out of the way. And once the AquaClear is clear to take off, literally it's gonna be a very, very clean scape if you just take the picture of the tank, which is something that you should be doing anyway in aquarium photography. So let's get this straight. Not only is this a quality and high performance equipment, it also creates a very clean look. You can even use some lily pipes if you're feeling really fancy. It also is virtually soundless, which I am still amazed at. It just feels weird. Maybe I'm just not used to luxury, but something that performs this well, that moves this much water and has this UV clarifying feature. All of that is soundless. I can get a good night's sleep. This is magic to me. Luva didn't tell me to say any of this. This is just some personal experience on the first day. Now, of course, I'm going to get back to you guys in about a couple weeks and give you guys a rundown of what's been happening and how I like this filter. In the meantime, I'm excited for you guys to win one of these. I'm super excited and stoked to see your aquarium submissions. If you guys have been watching my FTRs, you should have a sense of just what kind of fish tanks really get to me on a personal level that I really enjoy. I guess that's the perks of having watched this channel. Those of you who are subbed for a long time, you know exactly what I like by now. But to everyone, good luck, and I will be announcing the winner on Friday. A massive thank you to Fluval, and their products are on basically any shelf of any local fish store, even your big chain stores, and perhaps even Amazon. So if you do have the funds and budget for something more premium, do not hesitate with Fluvo because you can't go wrong. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.